what should happen to the people that lit, hung, and burned us? Okay. Yeah, because the British didn't like, I mean, that was your national yeah. That was the same thing. Mean, well, we just caught more of the hell because we was carried over here. I, I, you know, know here's here's white here. right. yeah. This is life went through hell. Oh, and, you know, and, and, and the Bible talks about this in, in, in extensively. Okay. You know, that our sufferings make us strong. Right. You know, and it's, you know, summary, of course. Uh, but, but the question is, the, the people who do these things, what should happen you? to them? They're going to burn in hell. They're going to burn, burn, burn in this hell. Right. 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 Get a clean <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, you, know, we, you, you, can't just, you can't justify any genocide or any... And this is why I hate black, white, Chinese, Japanese. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, we're, we're, right. we're all homo sapiens safe. Right. So that, right. I get what you're just saying, but it's not about color. Right. It is about nationality. The acts, acts, the, the acts that these people done to society, to, to the world. Right. Yeah, that's these, these it. Didn't just hurt you. And, you're right. It hurt everybody. It hurt it. It's right. It. It's you know, it, it hurt that's God. Do you think he's going to allow it to go? See, this, is why, this is why in, in the kingdom of God, Israelites are going to rule. But other, but even even in other nations like the Arabs and everybody, they won't they won't be happy because right now, what does what does the scripture say? When 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 the right when the wicked are in authority, the people fall more. Mm -hmm. the, these guys are in authority, right? The so-called white man is in authority. When they get out of power, or we as, as Israelites, these these twelve tribes of Israel. We won't be in power, but all the other nations they won't be under the Israelite. Remember, there's there's no such thing as as an, as an equal nation. I guess the world is never what, what I have, what I take what I take Roman Catholic Church you had what you call the Reformations, and out of the Reformations you had a branch of divisions of all kind of religions that destroyed cultures. What the, this is right? Yeah, that's John, yeah, that's John. why we did differently today. That's why we, we did, did back then. Exactly, yeah, exactly, right. exactly. Right. We, exactly. Right. You know, we call it progression. Right. We, you but that came out of the, I mean, we regress. But that came out of the Roman Catholic Church. Sure. And yeah, then you had this fucking sin on the face of the yeah, yeah, Roman Catholic yeah. Church. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was having a conversation with one of my very, very, very liberal friends, uh, neighbors, and she was telling me, well, you know, there's going to come a time when there ain't enough to the world. What are you going to do that? They do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a conversation with one of my very, very, very liberal friends, uh, neighbors, and she was telling me, "Well, you know, there's going to come a time when there ain't enough food to work. What are you going to do with that?" They do it. And she looked at me like, "Oh shit!" Because you don't believe me, I'm going to survive. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Recha Ha Kodash and double honors to the elder apostles and even the elder bishops of Great Millstone honors as well to you other brethren, you supporters of this truth, you fellow believers and Shalom to the elect. So every once in a while I like to take a clip out of a session and you know a camp video and kind of do a video on it. And uh what struck me is this um you know where we at that you know, people come up with all kinds of doctrines and ideologies. You know, this man who's, you know, he's, his heritage go back to Irish. So we was trying to spirit, right? So he was just off in a lot of Christian doctrine. But he was sitting in a car and he was kind of looking over at us. I, I figured, is this an agent? What's going on? But he was kind of waiting to double dutch so he can jump in so he... The spirit got on him to get out the car and come up, and we had a pretty good dialogue. Some of the stuff, again, he was way off, as usual. He, he doesn't know. But then he started agreeing. You know, he just wouldn't accept the fact that he didn't know. So he had kind of like that pride on him where we would correct him, and he would say, yeah, yeah, I know, yep, yep. And, you know, he would kind of start flowing with us. But the one thing stood to my, you know, stood on, you know, to me is when we, uh, I think the brother, uh, Taza Warrior, he brought up the fact about the time of Jacob's trouble. And uh, I think that brother through the spirit rolled that in there in Revelation 13 and went in there. And he didn't know much, but he knew enough to know what's going on. And this is where I'm getting at. A lot of these Jakes in the street, 
they don't know what's going on, man. Here this so-called white man is spitting. And this was a military man. So we kind of try to spirit, you know, he, he could be a Jake. Um, the scripture says none of the wicked shall understand, right? But, and I saw some, you know, some brothers on the comment board. I, I don't know if they would us. We get all kinds of people come on there. And he was kind of in that spirit of, you know, cut him. He's a, a Dumian. And um, he's trying to work his way in, you know, things like that. And this was the dangers of other groups even here where we teach in Baltimore where they were like that. They would see a guy come up and automatically he's a white guy and they'll cut him with the scriptures and curse him out and everything and the guy will run off screaming instead of having a, a respectable dialogue. Now, a lot of people understand what's going on in the world. Now, it's it's the spirits. This guy was an Edomian or a heathen, and he was going back and forth then. Hey, but you learn to let the scriptures work. You learn to let the scriptures do it all. Let the Lord speak for you, you know. You're speaking through the words of the Lord. So we didn't see no need to get, be all confrontational. And, you know, it just wasn't, you know, when you're pushing for a while. And a lot of those guys that were doing that, they quit. So then what happens is the, scat the flocks scatter and they look for entertainment. And a few of those guys, they come to us. And I remember one guy said, uh, you got with another, we was dealing with the hell doctrine with some look like Idumians, right? And he said, y'all too soft on them. And see, these are the cowards that sit in the back, right? And they're not concerned with prophecy. All they're concerned about is looking at us cut the white man and us put him in submission and subduing him and everything and you don't even, you're not even sure if they're an Israelite. That's why the scripture says try the spirit, not just because of skin color. And then you would have some white people that come up, and this is another thing you got to be mindful of, that will come against the doctrine and then you will automatically call him an Idumean. He still might be an Israelite that just doesn't agree with the doctrine because you got to ask yourself how many so-called black people come up who don't agree and if they and if they come up and don't don't agree how do you know that if that same black person was in white skin you would automatically call him an an, an edom a uh, edom right so anyway i was just i wanted to talk more about what he said about he said when the food comes when it's time to get the food he said look i'm gonna take i'm gonna take yours Right. And this is he's actually a sniper. Right. So can't make this stuff up. At least he's honest. OK. You're going to have our people in all kinds of walks of life. So let's go to um, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty, behold my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Right? And his servants is being uh fed now, you know, through the scriptures. Right? You know, we're not fatherless. We understand things that we didn't understand before. And literally, his servants are going to eat. Okay? We've seen it time and time again where the Lord kept on his promises, even in the wilderness is an example. Uh, the Lord, you know, kept his promises. So, you know, it was just, it was quite a few things this military man said, but I just, this was one thing that I said, well, I'm going to record, I'm going to, you know, redo this video and remake it and just put that clip in there. When this man said, she said, what are you going to do when there's no food? He, he said, I'm going to take yours. <laughs> so... The Most High always sends spirits up to justify what is being said or what is going to happen. It's just what it is. Let's go to Second Ezra 6 and 22. Um, I'm going to go to 20 first and I'm going to jump down to 22. And when the world shall begin to vanish away, sh uh, uh, vanish away shall be finished. 
Then will I shew these tokens. The books shall be opened before the firmament, 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 was it firmament? There we go, firmament. As they shall uh, all together, right? So this is when the scriptures talk about the gospel shall be preached throughout the land. And everybody is, is um, you know, seeing this truth or, or being, you know, way aware of, about the Hebrew Israelites. And um, even when Babylon is destroyed. It also says. And suddenly shall the, uh, the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall be suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give sound. And when every man heareth. They shall suddenly be afraid. Okay. So when this thing shuts down. And it, it'll probably be pretty fast. But. As the brother went into in Revelation 13, we couldn't say certain things on camera as we can't say now, but we went into that uh, Revelation 13 and the the prophecy of that. And this is like last week we had a a long debate or whatever. We kind of cut the guys off and they just kept talking. Um, of those black those black Israelites, you know, all black Israelites, black only. And their whole thing was, you know, talking about we shouldn't have the image of Yahweh but they got images of money that's been engraven and printed. They signed a lease to their house, which is an engraven image because they uh, subscribed and write it, wrote into it. You know, they got credit cards with their name signed on it. So you get the point. They were not concerned about stuff like this, right? And this prophecies these prophecies and that's what we were going into it says and a trumpet shall give sound which when every man hear of these shall suddenly be afraid and that time this is what i'm gonna get into and that time shall friends fight one another like enemies all right so you're gonna have friends best friends who are gonna look and look for their, each other's food and i guarantee you family members are going to do this they're going to be stealing from the children. And I remember in um, Lamentations and in Jeremiah with um, Jeremiah. And the Lord told him, pray not for this people. Their iniquity is accomplished. So you can imagine how hard this is going to be. Even us as witnesses of this, we're, we're prepared. You know, we're going to be prepared. The Lord is going to make us prepared. But that's going to be hard, man, when you have your children, you know, who, who won't eat the, the famines and pestilences and all these things that as you can see is on the way. It's pretty much here. Right. And the earth shall stand in fear with that that dwell therein and the springs of the fountains shall stand still. So you can imagine when there's no food and there's no water, right? And in three hours, they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. This world we living in, man, you know, it, it is time, man. We, you know, we got to get out of here, man. But all these prophecies must be fulfilled. Second Ezra 15 and 16, for there shall be sedition among men invading one another and they shall not regard their kings nor their princes, which they're starting to happen now. People attacking police, they don't give a damn. They don't, you know, they, they're having problems with voters. And the course of their actions shall stand in their hand, in their power. So if you got, somebody got a knife and somebody got a gun, it's whoever got the ups. Right? So you see that as people are going to, the Lord is going to start opening people's eyes to see certain things. And as people start seeing that this voting is it working, wait a minute, every year you blame the people who are not voting for the, the, um, the destruction of the communities, but you have more people who voted and it still hasn't made a difference even with their vote. So why should I do this? So this is Rome all over again and the fall of Rome all over again. And this is why we went into Revelation 13 and the image, you know, and everything else that rolls with it. 
So I just wanted to touch on that. This man clearly said out of his mouth, not a problem. I'm taking it, you know, and he's talking to friends. And this was Bible prophecy.